Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and we're going to do problem 4.162, okay? It says, determine the resultant force of this, of this distribution load and specify the height, h, this guy over here, where the bracing strut should be placed so that it lies through the line of action of the resultant force, okay? And they're also telling us that the width of this concrete structure is equal to 5 meters, okay? Now, so they are telling us that they want us to find the resultant force. So we know that we have a distributed load, so we need to find the area of this guy. And also where it is located, so that way we know where we need to place this guy, this bracing strut, okay? Now, how do we find the position of a distributed load that is not a regular shape like a triangle or a square that we use that the position is going to be the integral of the distance multiplied by the area divided by the integral of the area, okay? Now, but first we need to find what the resultant force is. Now, this is pressure. So what do we know about pressure? Well, pressure is equal to force over my area, okay? Now, if I want to find the force that a pressure is doing, well, I need to solve for F, which is going to be equal to pressure multiplied by my area, okay? Now, this pressure is changing. So basically what we have is that our force changes with respect to the position, and we also have the change of my P or my or my p into equation for times the change in my area. Okay, so if I want to find the force, I need to do the integral on both sides. So I have that the force is going to be equal to p dA. Now, p we have it in terms of z. So we got four z. Um, to the raised to the one half, okay? So somehow I need this dA to convert them into dz. But what do we know about area? Well, area is going to be the cross-sectional area that this pressure is doing, which is going to be the height times the width. Well, the width is not changing. Like the, the pressure is not changing with respect to the width. So let's imagine that this is my concrete structure. Well, my pressure is changing depending on my z position. You see? That it's depending on my z position, it's, I, it's changing the pressure. But if I move deep inside the bore, my pressure is the same. So the change in area with respect to the, like the pressure changes with, with the area with respect to w multiplied by dz. Why? Because it only changes when z is changing. In w, it's constant, okay? It doesn't change. So, let's plug it in here. So we got that f is going to be equal to the integral. Well, let's replace our pressure for our pressure that it was given, which is 4 multiplied by z to the 1 half power multiplied by w. Well, w is 5 meters. Multiply by dz, so I can just leave it outside like dz, okay? Now, why did I do this? Because it's my pressure and this whole thing is my area. So pressure times the change in area. So I have that this guy is pressure. Well, all this is my change in area, okay? Now, from where, what are the boundaries of this, the, of this interval? Well, it's going to go from, from 0 all the way to 4, okay? So I have from 0 to 4, okay? Now, we can simplify this. This is going to be equal from 0 to 4. Of 4 multiplied by 5, that will give me 20 z to the 1 half dz, okay? Now, we can either do this integral manually or we can use our calculator which makes our lives easier, right? So we go 
So integral from 0 to 4 of 20 multiplied by my variable 2, so 20 multiplied by my variable to the power of 1 half. And this is going to be equal to a hundred and seven kilonewtons. Okay? Now, we found the magnitude of our resultant force. We need to find where this H is placed, okay? So in order to do that, we need to follow this formula, okay? Well, but actually this formula tells us is that for the force, the summatory of Z multiplied by force, the distribution force, it's going to be divided by the summatory of the change, the force with respect to the change in the area, okay? So if we follow that, let's draw our free body diagram. So we'll have that. I'll have a force of 107 kilonewtons in this, so that I can place my bracing thrust at my high H. So near to here is H, okay? Now, my position Z or H is going to be the integral of Z multiplied by my the change of the force of this force with respect to the area. So we already knew, we already know what this force is with respect change with respect to the area, which is for Z1 to the one half multiplied by 5 dz because this is the change of my force with respect to my area okay now this goes from 0 to 4 because we're talking about the change in z divided by again 4 z to the one half multiplied by 5 dz okay so the difference between this one and this one on top is that we multiply by z on top, okay? So if we do this on our calculator, we will find out that this is going to be equal to, so we do the integral of the top divided by the integral of the bottom, it's equal to 2.4 newtons. Okay? So we found our magnitude, and we found where this force is placed, this, therefore our H, our distance H for our bracing thrust is going to be the same one because that's what the problem wanted. So they wanted to place our bracing thrust in the same line where my force, resultant force was placed, okay? Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please just post it down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.